my name is Denisha Zbackmore, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these beautiful gemstone wire earrings. The tools and supplies you will need to create these earrings are chain nose pliers, a ring mandrel, wire cutters, round nose pliers. I use the brand Lindstrom. These are nylon jaw pliers for straightening out our wire when we start, a chasing hammer, a small bench block. You will need four millimeter beads. These beads are olive tone cubic zirconia, a teardrop or a briolette. This is a quartz crystal with a mint hue. You will need an ear wire, 18 gauge wire of your choice, and 28 gauge wire. We are gonna start out by cutting a four inch length of 18 gauge wire. I'm just grabbing my nylon jaw pliers and I'm just kind of running it over to straighten out my wire. Picking up my ring mandrel, I'm going to go down to the bottom and I am just wrapping the wire around. Now I'm picking up my chasing hammer and I'm just going to tap those ends down. Let's remove it. And here is our little circle. Now I'm grabbing my wire cutters and I'm gonna trim off that little end. I'm gonna come over to the other side, but it right up against that previous wire and trim off the other side. Let's grab our chain nose pliers and we're gonna place it right about there with just a little bit of the end. And I'm going to bend that wire to the side. Now I'm grabbing my round nose pliers, placing it right about there. And we're forming a simple loop by rolling the wire towards us. If it's distort distorted, we'll come back and fix that later. Back to our chain nose pliers. We're coming over to the other side, leaving a little tail, and we're bending that wire to the side. Coming in with our round nose pliers, we're gonna form our simple loop by rolling the wire towards us. We wanna make sure that that loop is closed. At this point, here is what our circle looks like so we have to tweak it a little bit so we're going to come over and i'm just going to make a bend on this side and a bend on that side this one's still facing out a little bit so we're just going to bend it a little more. Let's grab our ring mandrel and slide it on. And I'm just kind of pressing it down, making sure the shape is nice and round. And then I'm taking it off. So at this point, our wire is really soft. We need to harden the wire, and the way we're gonna do that is we are gonna hammer it. Hammering wire helps harden the wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and start hammering. I'm going to silence this part of the video so it's not totally irritating, and then we'll come back.
So I just hardened the wire. I did the front and the back side. My loops are a little tweaky from the hammering. So we're just gonna come back in. We're gonna make sure those loops are straight and then we're gonna put it back on. And on this side, I'm just going to lightly hammer that side down. And I'm gonna move it just a tad bit more. Same thing on this one, just tweak it. So now I want you to check your loops and make sure they're closed because we don't want that wire sliding through the loops. I just cut about an eight inch length of 28 gauge wire. I always cut my wire longer. I like um, having extra wire. So I just passed it through the one side of that loop and I'm holding it and I'm gonna start wire wrapping around one, two, three, four. So we just wrapped it around four times. Now I'm grabbing my chain nose pliers and I wanna squish those wires together. And then I'm gonna bring it down and squish them down flip it over, check that other side, looks pretty good. And now we can trim off that little tail. I just strung my four millimeter bead, my center crystal and my other four millimeter bead. So now we're gonna pass this wire through. We're doing it Nice and slow. Bring that wire up. I want to make sure I pull that nice and tight. Our beads are in place so we can start wrapping. We're just passing that wire around. Coming right to the end. Making sure it's nice and tight. And we're going to wrap one, two, three. And we're gonna come in with our chain nose pliers. And we're gonna squish those wires down. You can push them down with your fingernail. push them down and then we're going to trim off that little end. Now we're going to come back in and we're going to tap these little wires down so there are no sharp edges. Now I just cut a approximately eight inch length of 28 gauge wire. We're gonna make this little loop connector to hang our air wire from so that the air wire doesn't move around. So I just passed it through. I left my little tail and I'm going to wrap one, two, three, Four. We're gonna pass that through. And on this one, I think I'm just gonna squish it. And we're gonna squish it on the other side. To form that little loop at the top, I like to grab my round nose pliers and place it, how big, if you want a super big loop, you put it here. If you want a smaller loop, you put it there. So I'm going to place it right about there. And I just brought it down. 
So I'm now gonna grab this little wire. I'm gonna bring it around to the back side. And I'm gonna pass it through while trying to hold the loop. We just need to do that one time to get that loop form. Now we can take it off and I'm holding the loop and I'm wrapping one, two, three. I'm looking, that looks pretty even. I'm gonna bring this side wire down and I'm gonna grab my wire cutters. Trim that little end. And then I'm gently squishing it together. Now we need to go to the other side. And we are going to trim that little tail off. Grabbing our chain nose pliers, I want to squish those wires together. on each side. Before I tap the wires down, I wanna make sure that my loop is center, which it appears to be center. So we're gonna come back over. And since the wire has flattened out, we're just gonna flatten out our wraps a little bit. We're gonna to come to the side and we're just gently doing this, tapping it down to make sure there's no sharp edges. And we're tapping our wire down. Our last step is to attach our ear wire. This is how you open and close an ear wire. So we're just gonna open it, attach it, and close the ear wire. And there you have it, how to create these little crystal quartz wire earrings. For more daily beading inspiration, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Denisia's Back More. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. I love to get feedback and comments from beaders around the world. I try to answer everybody back with questions and be sure to check out some of my other videos posted on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.